You have set up your portal, managed your objects and properties, imported your lead client databases, and customized your spot portal to perfectly adapt to your lead's buyer journey and your company's business processes. But there is one last step before inviting your team members to work on your perfectly set up new portal. And that's about managing teams, seats, permission sets, and presets. So in this video, we'll detail the role of each tab of the users and teams settings. But why take this time with a full video? Because organizing your team and defining the scope of your users and limiting it to the bare minimum ensures you greater control over the health of your portal. If everyone can do whatever they want, you will turn your hard organized portal into a gas factory in less than a month and that would be really bad. So once you're on settings, I can set up and user teams, like we are on the screen, you might see something weird because you might not have all the tabs that showing here. And that's normal because a spot will limit our customization options depending on our subscription. For people that only have a starter subscription, you will only be able to see users, seats, and teams. So if you have like a pro subscription to a spot, so let's say marketing pro or sales pro, you will be able to have presets. And only for enterprise subscription, you will be able to have permission sets. So now we will detail all these tabs. So you just need to follow the ones that are included in your subscription. So first we have the user tab, which is the first one. And it will be simply the list of all the users you invite on your portal. So mostly it will be all your colleagues or maybe external people from agencies or something like that. So basically you will be able to deal with specific settings of each user. You can edit their permissions, so what they can and can't do on your portal. You can assign them a specific team, specific presets, etc. The idea is to have like a tab to easily manage all your users. The edit permission button is really important, but we will talk about defining user permissions on the next video that will be about how to invite your users on a spot. So then the second tab is seats. This space is used to manage the attribution of paid seats to your spot users. And this is where a big misunderstanding comes into play for many newcomers on a spot. Unlike other solutions, it is not necessary to have a paid license to use HubSpot. These licenses only give you very specific premium features and only apply to some of your teams. Depending on your processes and internal organization, you may not even need them. If we go into details, we have two kinds of seats. We have the sales seats and the service seats. The first will allow us to unlock specific features in the sales field, such as call tracking, pre-written email answers libraries, or advanced appointment scheduling features. The second one will unlock relatively similar features, but really customer relationship oriented. So do not give all your users a paid seat. First, you have limited number depending on your subscription, but if you want to increase that, a spot will make you pay every month for these seats. So take the time to consult the list of features on the Uspot pricing page to validate whether or not a specific user needs a seat or not. And then we find the team tab. This one is interesting because it will help us group our users sharing same characteristic. And why do we want to group them? For several reasons. First, we will be able to do group actions. So for instance, we will be able to simply notify all members of a team with internal emails and notifications, for instance. It will also allow us to compartmentalize access to your database. For instance, you will be able to ensure that a user can have access to all the contacts in your CRM or only those assigned to his team or those directly assigned to him only. By doing this, you will make your database way more safe and you will be able to only create one single sales performance report. And when the syllabus will be reading it, they will be able to access global data. Sales manager will only see the figures of their team and salespeople, they will only see their own results without being spammed by data that does not concern them. And the last reason to create teams is to have a simple way to assign leads to salespeople based on their team. For instance, if we have like North America team, we will be able to create an assignment workflow that will make sure that all the state's leads will automatically be assigned randomly to people from the North America team. So my advice for this tab is to create two kinds of teams. The first kind will be based on the department of your company. So the marketing department, sales department, customer service department. But also 
by sales team. So for instance, if you have like several markets, you can have like the North America team, the Europe team, the Africa team. And if you have like two kind of products, like the example we are using for this video, we can have like the B2B sales team and the B2C sales team. So to create teams is really easy. You just click on create team here, give it a name. So let's say marketing. You can directly put the members that are on your portal to it if you want, but you can do it after, no worries. You can create as well the sales team. And for the sales team, we can create the B2B sales and B2C sales. So let's do it that way. And you can see here, you can put this team under another team. So it's a team that is under the sales team and just create the B2C sales. And we have all our teams. So we have marketing and sales. And when we click on sales, we have the two like child teams. Just a quick break to inform you that this video is part of a free training focusing on how to set up your Uspot portal in the most efficient way possible. This free training will be divided into seven big modules, each addressing a specific key point of your Uspot portal. And each module consists into several videos that will go deeper into a specific functionality or feature of your Uspot portal. If it's not already the case when you watch this video, the videos in this series will be published gradually and they will be added to this specific playlist. I have also prepared a private web page bringing together all the different content of this free training and some additional bonus content. So to benefit of this free content and to be notified for every new chapter that is releasing, I invite you to click on the link in the description below. Now that you create all your teams, we can go to the preset. It's something that you will only be able to see as a, a spot pro subscription user or more that basically is not that important. You just like to create a group of per default settings for some people of your company. So basically, if you want to create like per default settings for ads manager, you can name your preset ads manager and you will be able to select the ad page as a home page, the ad dashboard that we don't have yet, but we will create together the language, the date and number format. You can like create a template for signature email signature and you can deal with their notification profiles. To be honest, I don't really think uh, it matters because everyone should be able to have their own per default settings to make sure they can work in the best way possible in a spot. So I advise you to don't really care about this tab and let every user do their own settings. And our last tab is not going to concern many people because it's only reserved for enterprise subscriptions. It's permission sets. So basically we work in the same way as a classic access management of a lead and will allow to create custom templates of predefined access to save time during the onboarding of a new user. If you have access to this feature, I really recommend to create permission sets based on roles in your company. So the sales rep permission set, the sales director permission set, the marketing manager permission set, etc., etc. Let's see how it looks like. So we click on create permission set and we can see that we will be able to play with a great precision on each feature and asset of your portal. I really advise you to apply my golden rule for defining access is to only give necessary access and remove everything else. Why? For security reason, to maintain a good control over your hotspot portal and to favorize the clarity of your portal and the productivity of everyone. So basically you need to take the time to analyze every tabs here. And for every tab, you need to go into detail into every single lines. So for the CRM object tab, we have like contacts, companies, deal tickets, all the different objects of a spot. But for each of them, you need to click and to choose for each of those different options what is the best for the role you are creating. So in our case, we are creating sales rep, right? And we don't want them to be able to view all the contacts of our database. We want them to only be able to see their own contacts. So you just need to click here and choose contact their own. Same, we don't want them to see unassigned leads because we don't want that this sales rep can like take a random lead that is not belonging to anyone to start working uh, on it. So you just like click here and it will disappear. Same for edit, only their contact and that's it. But for delete, we don't want anyone to be able to delete contacts or companies in our database because we want to keep the history and the records of everything. So we will just manually say that 
we can't delete any contact in our spot portal. We did it with contact, but you need to do it with all the different objects you're using on your process and make sure like for each line, if options of access, you take the time to read carefully every single line. Another example is if we go to marketing, it's a sales rep. It doesn't need to be able to access to ads, campaign, marketing emails, lists, forms, etc. So we can just like take off everything. So we are sure that no sales rep will be able to mess with our marketing assets. So basically, as I said, for each of those options, ask yourself, does this user need this feature or to have a view on this data? And if so, at what level? It's only reading, modifying, creating, deleting. I really advise you to take this time to ensure your portal security. Once it's done, you can click on create and that's it. Now for every user you will create or for users that are already here, you will be able to click on actions, assign permission set and choose the one you just created. I can't do that here because I'm alone on this portal and I'm a super admin, so I can't lose this benefit if there is no other super admin on this portal. And that's done. Now you are ready to invite your colleagues on your spot portal. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, don't forget to put a thumbs up, to subscribe to this channel and to save this playlist to make sure you don't miss any new chapter of this free training. And don't forget the link in the description below that gives you this free access to all the content of this free training plus more additional content on how to set up your Uspot portal in the most efficient way possible. For those who are discovering me through this video, I'm Grégoire, a spot expert for more than seven years now, and I will see you very soon for more Uspot tips.